Module 2. How can data be manipulated? Create a QGIS vector map on GDP. First of all, you need to install QGIS locally from the official web page. Check the QGIS release version first and install it according your operating system. Let's create a vector map with GDP per capita PPP in current international dollar to produce new data, the variation between 2015 and 2017. These are the steps. 1. Open the QGIS desktop you installed. 2. Open a new project. 3. Add the two previously downloaded files to the new project. Four, join the GDP data, a CSV Excel file, to the base map using a common field. To do so, first have a look at the data by opening the CSV file and selecting the only common field option, the ISO field with three letters. Second, have a look at the attribute table for the shape file and after looking for a common field, the most similar one seems to be the field ADM0 underscore A3. Next, join the fields. Add vector join and select the common fields. It is not necessary to select all the fields of both datasets. Finally, export the resulting layer to an ESRI shapefile, choose Export, Save Vector Layer As, select ESRI shapefile format, set the path for the layer and add the file name such as GDP. To create the information we need, start an editing session to be allowed to make changes in the data. Toggle Editing. Create a new field, GDP 15, for the year 2015 as a decimal number. Real. Output field length 12 and 3 decimal as some data has 3 decimals. For expression, Add the text field with the data of 2015. As a result, we see that the new field is now a number field, double, and can support mathematical operations. Next, create a new field, GDP 17, for the year 2017 as a decimal number. Real. Output field length 12 and 3 decimal as some data has 3 decimals. For expressions, 
add the text field to the data of 2017. Again, the result is now a number field. Next, create a new field to calculate the variation on GDP per capita PPP in international dollar between 2015 and 2017 that we will call DIF 15 underscore 17 using again the decimal number real output field length 12 and 3 decimal as some data has 3 decimals. But now the expression should be the difference between 2015 and 2017 in percentages. The expression is as follows. Open brackets GDP 17 minus GDP 15 close brackets multiply 100 divide GDP 15. It is necessary to write this expression with the field calculator buttons. Again, the result is now a number field. We can see now that a country, for instance Spain, has increased its GDP by 9.45% between 2015 and 2017. Finally, stop the editing session and save the changes to the data. Six. Create the map of GDP per capita PPP in current international dollar variation between 2015 and 2017 in percentage. These are the steps. First, open layer properties. Go to Symbology and change single symbol by graduated symbols with the data of the field DIF15 underscore 17. Second, click on the histogram tab to load values. There are some negative values, but most of the values lay between 0 and 20% increase between 2015 and 2017. So, equal intervals seems an easy way to represent the data and a suitable scale of interval to choose. Thus, there would be five classes of positive values, whereby one value is more than 40%. But there are no data on the map between 30 and 40%, and it is not appropriate to have a class of data without any data values. Therefore, let's change into to four classes of positive values with the last class values of more than 30%. Using classification of values allows us to have an any negative value very well discriminated in another color, as it is possible to change the color. The counties in orange have no data. 7. It is possible to look for patterns. For example, Libya has an incredibly high GDP per capita PPP in international dollar increase because of their petroleum sales. Most of the countries with low GDP are in the south. Most of the countries have a moderate increase of less than 10%. Some of them are between 10 and 20% and only one increases more than 30%. After a wider observation, we can conclude 
that perhaps another classification of the data would give us a better ID of the intermediate data. 8. For applying smart question proposed on section 6, it is necessary to look at the map and do some data management on the attribute table. 9. Save the project. Thank you very much and don't miss the next module session.